Welcome to Seen Through Glass. Welcome to a very random location with the Honda Civic Type R, the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Today I'm attending, a, a, it's a sort of Honda, they call it the Honda Press Driving Day. Essentially, Honda UK have brought all of their new and heritage cars out to a location just outside London and invited a whole load of journalists down to check them out. However, I'm not really a journalist, I'm just a, an idiot who makes videos on YouTube. So I've turned up, I brought my cameras along and I brought my cameras along and I'm going to attempt my very own impression of a Matt Farah smoking tyre one take because I have very limited time with this car but I thought I'd put some cameras up, take advantage of the opportunity and chat you through my thoughts of the 2018 Civic Type R. It's a really awful location to do this intro in. Now some of you might remember I actually drove the previous generation Civic Type R across to the Nürburgring with car throttle so I spent about four days uh, and did about, I don't know, 1500 miles in that car and I really liked it. It was, it was pretty brutal, pretty hardcore, but really good fun. One thing I do remember is it was really hard to get in and out of the car because the seats, the side of the seats were really tough, really hard. So you kept banging your thighs and it was just a bit of a bore. These are definitely softer, but still as supportive. I think they look nice as well. I think in general the car looks nice. I think from the outside it's still purposeful, still quite aggressive, but a bit more aesthetically pleasing than the last one. The last one really was a bit UFO-like. Inside it's really nice as well. We've got this kind of like suede Alcantara stuff. I like the fact you get the red with the Type R. Some carbon fibre. Looks like there's some tech going on in here as well. I'm just going to look up um, obviously some of the stats and facts about this car because I have literally just jumped in it. It's an interesting day, this. A really cool day and I'm so glad Honda invited me down, but it's not a traditional filming day. You sort of get given the keys to a car very quickly and you've got to go off and drive it and then take it back. I spent the morning in a 2005 NSX, which is amazing. I'm going to talk about that more on the podcast. I want to focus in this video on the Type R. So, starting price, uh, thir just under £31,000. Um, we have got 2 litre unit now, developed an extra 10 horsepower from the previous generation. Uh, there's 316 horsepower in total. Uh, type R weighs just under 1,400 kilos, which seems light. Um, we've got a 0 to 60 time in 5.7 seconds, so that's quick. Uh, manual, six-speed manual gearbox here. Yes, three three modes, which we're going to talk about. Comfort, Sport, and R+, plus driving modes. Uh, and anything else that we need to talk about in particular? Shall we drive? I mean, I don't know why I'm still looking at my phone. It's a bit of a boring one take, isn't it? If I'm just going to sit there on my phone the whole time. At the end of the day, this channel's not about facts and stats. It's about emotion and how cars make us feel. So, handbrake off. Let's, let's start in comfort, because as I say, I did remember the previous generation as being quite harsh, quite brutal. Um, and whilst obviously we're going to want to test out its sporting credentials, we might as well test it out in comfort. Really nice sort of mechanical gear changes in this gear. But I remember that really well. And funny enough, the NSX had the same thing, even though it's a 15-year-old, uh, no, it was a 12-year-old car that I was driving. It's quite a short throw to the gear changes, but it sort of clunks around. And I really like that. You feel like you're actually doing something. Some gearboxes can be so smooth and, and lacking in feel. But it does feel a little bit softer. I definitely don't remember my experience well enough to tell you if this car's a lot softer than the previous generation, but this is very nice. These seats are just fantastic. For a £30,000 car to get seats like this, they are lovely. It's got quite a good presence on the road. I'm feeling, it doesn't feel like a small car. It feels like quite a big car, and I feel like I'm sat up quite high. I've got very good visibility. There's quite a nice bump in the bonnet which makes me think it's a sporty car right let's get down to business let's go into sport i'm going to save our plus for a second Whoa! <laughs> well that's not hanging around not 16 5.7 seconds did it say but front wheel drive i have to say it doesn't feel massively front wheel drive let's try and put some power on through a corner that's yeah yeah that, that's front wheel drive that was a lot of understeer <laughs> But it's a really nice power delivery. It's, it's not manic. I'm sure you get some wheel spin off a line, but oh, that was very bloody good. That was very bloody good. We like that. This is only in sport. We're not even in R plus yet. Let's hope this Honda Jazz is not going the same way. I don't think it's part of the press drives. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to turn right. 
and stretch this thing's legs. Okay, let's go. Second gear, we're away. Where's the red line? I keep looking down at the... Oh my God, this thing is quick. <laughs> oh, this is... oh, the brakes are really nice. Really nice, really firm. And quite comforting. My good Lord, people, this thing is amazing. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting carried away. Let's calm down for a second. I do remember having the same emotions with the previous generation. Once I got going, I cruised all the way to the Nürburgring on it, on the motorway, highway, autobahn, whatever it, was, whatever it was, and it was totally fine. And then when I started pushing it, I was like, yeah, this is what the Type R's all about. And I think that's the thing. Because of the styling, it's kind of an acceptable ASBO machine, isn't it? You kind of just see it, you go, yeah, it's going to be hooning everywhere. And he brings it out of you. You get it, there's a lot of red, the carbon fiber, and you just want to be an absolute lunatic. Oh, and that is just lunatic performance right there. It's really nice the way it positions itself on the road. And as I say, because it feels quite, whoa, that was a bump. Because it feels quite big, it's got nice road presence. Sometimes in these hot hatches, you just feel like a little fly that you're gonna get sort of beaten off the road. Let's get up here, we'll get onto a bigger road and then check out R+, Plus, which I mean probably should have driven that road in R+, Plus, but haven't got quite enough time. We're not in the perfect area, if I'm honest, to be testing out these cars, just outside London. Um, it's still pretty built up around here, but funny enough, I've driven these roads before with Paul Wallace. Oh, is that a bit of rev matching? I've been trying to do my own rev matching, but I think I just did some auto rev matching there. Right, let's pull out of this junction, give us some welly. That's wheel spin. Whoa! <laughs> oh, plus mode is ludicrous. I'm assuming we've now got all 316 horsepower. Extracting everything. Is everything a bit harder? Steering, steering feels the same. And the ride, I can feel definitely feel a few more bumps in the road. We'll go around this roundabout and back to that nice twisty one. But oh, this car is very, very good. I prefer the cabin to the Focus RS. I'm going to keep comparing it to the Focus RS because that's the most obvious rival. Yeah, it does have rev matching. That wasn't me, it does it? It's got some rev matching. That's quite cool, I guess. I'm always sort of a fan of being able to do it manually, but okay, right now. Getting back on that twisty road. We can check out this R Plus, see what it's all about, because I wanted to throw it into some corners. God, the brakes are really good. <laughs> this thing flies. I haven't actually seen the Top Gear episode yet where Chris Harris was driving this, but I can imagine it's the kind of car he liked. Uh, here we go. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice amount of understeer when you put the power on. It's a sort of classic front wheel drive characteristic without being over torqued that it's just pulling you into the tree line. And, oh, it just sits so nicely on the road. this a lot. What a good car. What a good car. <laughs> oh, well, let's slow it down. Okay, question is, would you buy one? Um, I think the styling is always going to make it a bit of a Marmite car. Uh, Honda badge, I think people, I mean, do people like Honda? Is there still some snootiness around Honda? I don't think so. Honda's a great brand, isn't it? And if they're making things like the NSX these days, and Got a lot of cool electric cars coming as we saw Geneva, then why not celebrate it? That auto rev matching is creeping me out a bit. I'm gonna pull back in here, this is back to the Honda event. But yeah, I mean, the, that's the thing is the styling is gonna be the stuff that's gonna put people off, which is a shame because it's a brilliant car and hopefully some people will look past the styling. It's obviously a bit leery and it does shout boy racer. I think if you were a young professional wanting to turn up, this is quite in your face. Would your boss judge you? Maybe. But once you're actually in here and driving, God, it's good. There we go. My attempt at a one take, probably quite awful in the grand scheme of things, but uh, I wanted to get a video out of today somehow rather than, I was just going to film some B-roll and talk about it all on Behind the Glass, but it felt like too good an opportunity my first time in a Type R. I did speak to Honda UK. They may be up for lending me one of these cars for like a week because they think that's when I would really get to know it. Um, fully so I'm definitely up for that I think it needs a bit more time to understand it and use it as it should be used a daily hot hatches have to be you oh there's a new GT3 oh it's a 991.2 G sorry it's a Honda press day isn't it got a little carried away there this is the Grove 
just outside Watford in London, and there were always some awesome cars here. I'm gonna go do some car park spotting. Anyway, sign up my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.